Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So, uh, tonight I'm going to start off with a story. Now, if you tuned in early on in this series of videos on Facebook, you've probably already heard it. Um, but it bears repeating. I heard this story when I was a kid, and it stuck with me. It was uh, really something. So this guy, he's just enamored by space. Everything about it. And he loves astronauts. Well, one day he gets on a plane. And the stewardess walks this guy back and sits him down next to him. And it's an astronaut. One of the famous ones, too. We're talking Buzz Aldrin or somebody like that. Neil Armstrong, maybe. I can't remember exactly who. Um, so this guy, he, he's just overcome. He's ecstatic. His hero is sitting next to him. So, of course, he keeps trying to start up a conversation with him. And, of course, he's nervous, so he keeps making a fool of himself. Uh, but at one point, he looks out the window, and he comments on how uh, small the, the houses are. And the astronaut looks out the window, and he tells them roughly how high up they are. He tells them their altitude, based on the fact that he can... Uh, he said it um, because the structures on the earth are still visible. And the guy just loved that. He was, he's like, I'm calling it the ground, and this dude's calling it the earth. That's why he's an astronaut. And he keeps trying to spark up a conversation with him, but it never works, never goes anywhere. Eventually, the astronaut pulls out a book on Portuguese art. That's what it was on. Uh, and the guy looks at him, and he's like, you're an astronaut. Why are you reading a book about Portuguese art? Because I don't know anything about it. That's why he's an astronaut. Um, one of the most common questions I get in my inbox is, what do you read? You know, I, I guess because of the variety of topics that I talk about, people assume I'm well-read, and that's true. I read all the time, all the time. And there were periods in my life when I had a whole lot of time to read. Um, I'm lucky, though. I'm very lucky in the sense that my job and my life gives me that time to read. Um, requires it, in a way. The average person in the U.S. doesn't have that kind of time. They don't have leisure time to sit down and read. We live busy lives. So the question I got was, how do you become well-read if you don't have time to read? There's an app for that. There is an app for that. Uh, if you're on Droid, it's free. It's called LibriVox. It's, it's a non-profit. Um, I don't know if it's on an iPhone or if it costs on iPhone or not. But uh, thousands, thousands of audiobooks, everything. Uh, modern stuff, the stuff that's out of print, everything from Moby Dick to Sherlock Holmes to The Art of War, it's all on there. So you can put that app on your phone and you can listen to it while you're cooking dinner or on your commute to work. And if you did it just those two times, you'd knock out 30 or 40 books a year. And it's important because it's beyond beyond just the education and understanding and be able to being able to discuss the books. In all of those books there's something you can take away from it. In every book. It just like that story. It's just a guy talking to another guy on an airplane. But there was something profound in it. Almost every book is like that. And every book on LibriVox, there's certainly something you can take away from it. Learning about different periods and times and different places and seeing the eyes or seeing the world through the eyes of the author, of all of these different authors, it helps you understand what's going on today in a lot of ways. It, it gives you a better understanding of the world. 
it helps with education versus credentialing. Um, so it's definitely something that I would I would recommend. Um, just remember when you're doing it, banned books are the best books. You know, the National Library Association they put out a list every year of the most challenged books. You know, the ones that people tried to remove from libraries and stuff like that. Those are always the best. Um, and just just because I'm sure somebody will ask, no, this isn't a commercial for LibriVox. They did not pay me. They don't even know I'm talking about them right now. Um, if you want to become well-read, you probably don't have the time. But this is a way to get that. There's always a way. There's always a way to accomplish your goal. Here's a cheat, and it works. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.